let's get Grayscale Gorilla's new area light maps to work with Cycles 4D. I have a simple car model here. And first thing we're going to do, let's turn off this environment so we can just focus on the area lights. Uh, now you don't want to use a Cycles 4D light uh, mapping a texture to that. Uh, caused my system to crash a couple times. So I had to figure out a different way. So the first thing you're going to do is add a plane, set the orientation to Z plus, come down here to go create, cycles 4D, surface, emission surface. Drag that on and you now have an emissive light. Okay, let's go ahead and um, lock the camera view. This is new in Cycles 4D, uh, latest version. Click on your camera and then you can click here and it will lock to that object. So now you can come out of your camera here and it stays locked in your live viewer. So let's bring this plane all the way up. And we're going to make just a giant soft box up top. Okay, fairly common. Okay, so right now we can see we click back on this camera and un unselect it um, or click off of it sorry and it will now update back to where so let's look at that and make sure that we're actually mapping a texture to that with your uh, emission material you're going to come in and add in an image texture pipe that into the emission color and then on your plane uh, we'll just call this light we're going to add in a new tag we're going to go hdri link and go back to your image texture grab your texture and drag it to hdri link click on hdri link and then launch browser and you now have the uh if you have everything installed correctly you now have your area light maps now if you just click through these they will all show up so that's a, a pretty quick way. You can see they're stretched here because I actually stretched the, um, this plane out rather than um, expanding it. So we can fix that or we can just leave it as it is for now. Um, so let's say we wanted to go with this. Let's go back into our camera. And back into our emission material. You have the control over the strength, just like you would with any other light. Um, for now, let's just set that to mm, two. And now if you wanted to change the color, you can come over here, do a under converter black body. You're gonna add in a mix RGB node have your light texture going into the bottom, have the black body going into the top, set the factor to one, and then you're going to multiply that. So now that your black body color is being multiplied over top of your light. Uh, let's set the temperature to, you know, maybe we go a little, little cooler on it. Um, so, well, as you can see, you can, you can change that this way. Uh, a quick way to maybe build a light array would be to add in a texture coordinate and a mapping node. Object. Pipe that in and as you can see in the reflection here it has now repeated that across the entire texture. Um, this is like quick dirty way. I wouldn't really you don't have a lot of control over it and you know you can scale things but it's going to be um this it's going to be disproportionate and uh probably not as uh you know as much artistic control as you would get by using uh chad's version of using the cloner that's how you would get the new grayscale gorilla area light maps to work with cycles 40.